We need to control ourselves. You said? I mean it. No threats, no violence. We need to be smarter than that. Look at him. I bet that's his next victim. Oh, he's just sold her a new car. It's been a pleasure to meet you. All right. Yes, lads. What can I do for you? I'm just looking. Anything in particular? A car to impress the uh, ladies, maybe. Something sporty, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you've come to the right place. You know what? I've got just the thing. We can take it for a spin if you like. Yeah. Sounds good. Great. Let's just take, take some details. Ah, oh, we haven't got time for all that. We're on a lunch break. Oh, I can't take on the test drive without the paperwork. Can't you bend the rules just this once? Or well, we could take a business elsewhere. OK, just don't tell me, boss. I'll fetch the keys. You'd love to wipe the smirk off his face, wouldn't you? Yeah, too right, I would. Look at him. Like he hasn't got a care in the world. He has now. Shall we? Why not? You coming along for the ride? Yep. Too right, I am. This is a good choice. One of our best sellers. Car like this, it's a real game changer. Hopefully. You might want to remember the speed limits. I'm oh, sorry, I'm just trying to get a feel for it. Well, I guess as long as the road's clear. Definitely designed to impress the ladies. <laughs> yeah. Way out of my price range, of course. Oh, yeah? What do you drive? Oh, just a boring super mini. Guess you've got other ways of getting your thrills. I'm not much of a thrill seeker, I'm afraid. Throw the quiet night in with a girlfriend, then. The, uh, the fuel consumption's pretty impressive for a car in this class. Maybe you don't have a girlfriend. Well, uh, I'm just making conversation. You know, when I go out on a weekend, Everything's fair game. Do you know what I mean? No offence, but let's just stick to the car, shall we? I'm a bit nerve, have I? I'm just not comfortable talking about my love life, mate. Yeah, I bet you are. We're supposed to be holding this together. Yeah, well, he's getting on my nerves. Mr Squeaky Clean. Just drop the act and tell us the truth. What are you on about? What you did to his sister, that's what he's on about. How do I know his sister? You don't. I didn't stop you raping her, did it? Whatever you've been told, none of it's true. You're calling my sister a liar, are you? I've been through all this with the police. It's over, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, it's not even started yet. I think you two need to leave. Now. We're going nowhere until you tell us what you did! I'm the phone of the police. Right, well, let's go. If that's broken, you're gonna pay for it. But you're the one who's gonna pay. Right, now who's losing the plot, eh? He's not telling us anything. There's nothing to tell. People don't lie about this. Yeah, normal people don't. What? Well, she's obviously not right in the head, is she? I'm not someone who goes around forcing myself on girls. I don't need to. Well, why would she make it up? We were having a good time. It was a laugh. Me mate tried that on with her. I helped her sack him off. Oh, and that gave you the right to rape her, did it? She was well up for it. It was obvious what she wanted. Why else would she invite me back to hers? Oh, you forced yourself on her. Hardly. She wanted it as much as I did. All over me like some cheap tart. <laughs> Come on, then! If that's how you want it! Right, you need to calm down. Yeah, mate, listen to your girlfriend. Seriously, I'm gonna kill you. You can try. Robert, Robert, for God's sake! Listen, you need to get out of here now while you still can. Next time he comes near me, I'm going to police. What is that all about? Well, you wanna see him walk through, do you? No, Robert, I want justice for Vic, and this isn't the way to get it. This is a bad idea. We were told Vic we'd try and sort it. No, we were told Vic we would sort it, but we just left out a tiny bit of detail, didn't we? Well, you we? never know, we might get lucky. Or not. Who well, deserves it? Help her get sacked. Well, that'll make him happy, won't it? It'll make me. Well, could you have it all about you, then, eh? You've got some sick mates. Yeah, I'll be telling them.
please don't put yourself through any more of this grief. Do you ever take no for an answer? I need to know she's gonna stop telling lies and harassing me. Are you off your head? You attacked her, she's been in bits for months. You put that innocent girl in hell and you kept her there by denying it all. I'm the one who's innocent here. What do you think you're doing, rapist? I've done nothing. I'm only here because she raped it all up again. Those posters cost him his job. Good. His boss is clearly not what he's capable of, even if you don't. You know Vic had nothing to do with those posters. Do I? Look, I get it. If it was my sister, I'd want to believe a messed up story too. I have no idea why she's targeting me or what kind of deep psychological problems she's got. I'd walk away, try and ignore it, but she'd lost me my job. And my mum was really upset after what happened yesterday. Your mother went looking for trouble. You see, I told you, you're not going to get anywhere. The girl's a liar, they all are. So what? She just gets away with it? Well, have you got death wish or something? Oh, leave it, Robert. Go, make sure your sister's all right. I'll sort this. If you want to keep your son safe, you better make sure he stays away from my kids. <sighs> it's OK. He can't get to you now. We should phone the police. They can't keep doing this to her. Robert, call the police! Get out! Just leave me alone! I'm sorry I tried to stop him. The girl stairs. You heard her. Out now. Haven't you done enough? What the hell do you want from me? I want you to admit it, that you lied. Why would I have lied about it? I don't know, because you deluded and you love all the attention. Leave it now, son. We're just lucky the police didn't buy a nasty little story. Lucky? No. She's going to take it back. No. Get out of her face! Right now! People out there think I'm some kind of sex offender because of her. I just want you to tell the truth. You made it up because you're a fantasist. I'll give you the truth. You held me down and you raped me! You really are a twisted cow. You really are. You no, are. me! Oh, Vic! Oh, you made her pet! I never touched her. It's the bed, all right? Oh, my God. You're pregnant. Is it true? Are you pregnant? It's none of your business, is it? Are you serious? You can't be. It's got nothing to do with me. I don't know how many people she's been with. Well, that's not very helpful. You are disgusting. You need to leave. Don't, Robert, you'll only make things worse. It's what he wants, don't bait. I can't believe you're doing this to me. Don't worry about it. No! Me. No! What are you doing? You put it out! <laughs> is it Lee's? Will you just tell me the truth? Are you having his baby? I'd put up. You're off your edge, you. What are you bringing your mum for? And you and all get lost. You want locking up? Keep her away from me and my family. There's something wrong with her. She needs help. It's me. Here. You okay? Yeah. Um, look, I'm, I'm sorry about earlier. Yeah, me too. I should have realised it'll get to you. Is Vic okay? Not best pleased with you. Yeah, look, well, I'll apologise to both of you properly when I get home. Where are you anyway? Um, I'm in a meeting. Leave it. Yeah, I got a bit held up. Well, looks like I'll be home in time to read some bedtime story anyway. Okay, well, I love you. Yeah. I love you too. What's the rush? I'm not rushing. I, th I thought we were going back to my car. 
cramped though, aren't they, cars? This place, on the other hand, is a perfect opportunity. For what? Getting bitten by a rat? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I am here. I thought you were bad. Yeah, well, maybe I'm not. No. You are, I can tell. Get off! You wanted to. Yeah, well, I've changed my mind. Too late. No, it's not. Get off me, Lee! <laughs> I didn't tell you my name. Yeah, you did. Who are you? Get out of here. Has he hurt you? No. This is starting to make sense. Yeah, but it's been dead creepy, though. Oh, and this setup isn't. Who the hell does this? You're sick. No, you're sick! Leave it. Robert, no. And you? What are you? I'd call you trash, but trash was useful once. I doubt you ever have been. Shut up. I will take you down. This <laughs> is Robert Sugden. He just accosted me on the way to the pub to meet my mates. He's threatening me, and I'm worried he's going to hurt me. And there it goes, to the cloud. Nice try. Hard luck. See ya. I really do like it here. It's so peaceful. And look at your garden. I can see how you would have been able to pay people to try and stitch me up. You need to do one now. Well, you still can. I passed your sister's house. Scene of the crime. Well, hair crime. I mean, the liar. Go on. Admit it. Say you did it just to me. Why would I do that? Why don't you admit that you secretly know that I've done nothing wrong? But you're embarrassed. Because accepting that means your sister's a bike. Leave it, leave it. We've just seen you down some shady canal with Dawn. I'm getting pretty sick of being constantly hounded. Victoria and her lies. Don't say her name. You coming round to my workplace all set to kick off. Then the posters, then this. You told the police you thought the posters were Victoria. Oh, whatever. Well, guess what? It's time to pay. You have the money? No. I'm all right, thanks. What I've come for is to tell you that you've made my life a misery. And now, I'm going to make hers one. You already have. Victoria will look back on these as the good old days by the time I'm done. All that matters now is Vic and the baby, right? We've got one job, that's keep her safe until she moves. There's got to be some way to prove what he's done. Robert, you can't sort this. All you've done so far is wind Lee up even more. If he even thinks about turning up on a doorstep. Well, if he's got any sense, he'll stay away, and if you've got any sense, you'll leave him alone. Or don't you think that things are bad enough as they are? Fancy grabbing some lunch? Dan just texted me. You know that France job, the overnighter? You, what about it? Your passport's been locked in the safe at the scrapyard the whole time. The only reason you lied to me is because of Lee. You've been stalking him, haven't you? I've been keeping an eye on him, that's all. I don't believe this. Robert. I know what you're doing, so do one before things get messy. Don't know what you're on about. I was going to pop the shop for a pint of milk. Oh, a shop that's miles out of your way? Nice place, this. I like it more every time I come. You even look at my sister again! Just leave it, Robert. You threatening me? No, he's not threatening you. He's going to walk away from here and forget he's ever seen you. As if I'd have gone for that slapper yesterday. You know my type. Your sister. <laughs> Listen, this has got to stop now! You heard him! He's going to be in our faces all the time. He's threatening Vic. The last thing that he needs is more hassle from the police. He's just winding you up and it's working. What, so I'm supposed to just stand back and let him get on with it? Do you know what? Sometimes bad things happen and we can't do anything about it. But this has to stop now. It's him or me. Thanks for coming in here instead of the pub. It's planted somewhere a bit quiet. Yeah, it's fine. And to be honest, I've had my fill of lads for a lifetime. <laughs> Me too. Hey, everyone.
never realised you had those skills. Skills? What? Kicking a ball around the field? Do you want a divorce? Well, I actually enjoyed it. Beats working at the B&B &B anyway. I swear, if Eric says he's just an employee one more time... Get out. Not until you've heard what I've got to say. Sorry. Can we just talk? Get you in the house, Robert. I know Victoria's got her version of what happened. Her version? Just leave it. But there's another point of view to be had here. We've been through all this. Have you got any understanding of what you've done? Lee's lost his job and his reputation because of your lies. Do you actually expect me to feel sorry for him? He was supposed to be emigrating to Australia, but there's no chance he can afford it now. You know what you did. Lisa, there's no case to answer. Why are you keeping this going? The baby is all he's got left. I just want to do the right thing, Vic. Be your dad. Get her inside. I'm having that DNA test once the baby's born. Yeah, you'll have to get past me first. I want to spend every minute I can with my kid. You can understand that, can't you, mate? You show your face around here again, and you're leaving an ambulance. Robert. It'll all be over soon. I promise. So, are you going to invite me in or what? There's a lot of weirdos out there playing cowboys and Indians. What's that about? Oh, I get it. No small talk. OK, so let's skip to the part where you make me an offer. Ten grand. And you leave for good. You better not be recording this. You wanted paying off, we're paying you off. I just get a little bit weary when things are so easy. You think this is easy, dear? Hey, calm down. The baby can feel stress, you know. Do you want to count it? But we haven't even discussed the apology yet. The public apology. Because you won't be getting one. The thing is, you can't buy much with an apology. You can with ten grand. You tell your mother you're not the father and you make it convincing. <laughs> what? And you really think she'll believe it? Yeah, because we're giving you 10,000 reasons to make her believe it. You're going to emigrate to Australia. Take the money and go. Just... just go. I haven't given you my decision yet. Because there's no decision to make. Oh, there is. A, do I take the money? Or B, negotiate? I don't think I'm going to go with A. Yeah, well, that's all you're getting. And it's already 10,000 too much. If I had my way... But you're not going to get your way, are you, Rob? This is about what I want. And what I want is double. Double? Or I'll do everything to make sure I'm in my kid's life. I should throw you through that window. Love it. You don't want to do that. They look pretty pricey. I mean, the whole place does. Not short of a few quid, are you, Rob? No, no, no way. What, we agree 20 and then you turn around and say 40? We're not agreeing to anything. 10 grand. That'll pay for the flight to Australia, but what's left is going to run out pretty soon, isn't it? That's not our problem. No, I'm your problem. And you're going to have to pay a lot more to make it go away. Can't do this. Just take the money and go. Maybe we should talk about names. What about Lee Jr? If it's a boy, obviously. Now, don't push it. My mum's gonna love being a nanny, you know. I'll apologise already, cos she's gonna want to be pretty hands-on. You've got to enjoy every second, don't you? They grow up so fast. I'll get you the 20 grand and your mum stays away. She doesn't ask a single question. You are not, and you never were the father. Now we're talking, Rob. It will be our convincing her that there are loads of blokes' names more likely to be on that birth certificate. No offence. I hope you die, slowly and in pain. No offence. Don't worry about it. It's probably the hormones. Right, I think we should shake on it. Gentlemen's agreement and all that. 
Come on, mate, don't leave me hanging. I'm doing you a favour here. Everyone's a winner. You'll get the rest when you've told your mum. She shows up anywhere near here and you won't see another penny. Nice doing business with you guys. Admit what you did! Just once. Just once. You know what's scary? I actually think you believe it. I feel sorry for the next blog you do this to. I mean, really, I should hang on for that apology. Don't pick, pick. He's a germ and he's not in your life anymore. Now get the hell out of my house. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? No, no, it really wasn't. Well, sometimes no doesn't mean no, does it? Just adds to it. I mean, is it really rape when they love her as much as your sister did? And I even gave her a nice little souvenir to remember me by. Bye, Uncle Robert. Get up. Get up! Come on! Your sister fought harder than this. You're not walking away from this. <laughs> oh, but I am. I'm 20 grand richer. Baby maker. Money maker. I wonder who the next lucky lady's gonna be. <laughs> Robert, I can't get a pulse. Oh, my God! What are you doing? Did he try and hurt you? Everybody! Yeehaw! There's another body! I just thought it was bad. Game. Darling, you need to step back, please. I need an ambulance now. Good, isn't he, the victim? Lifeless. He hasn't moved. You should have applied for the role, Jimmy. He's on his way. He's not responding. The police will be coming. I know. I know. What's going on? What's happened? Nobody knows. Come well, good mate. We thought it was all part of the murder mystery thing. He's out cold. Called an ambulance. It's not your fault. I said that I wanted him to die. And I wanted him dead, but I didn't mean... I know. I know. Just leave it alone. If he dies. You're saying all these things about Vic, saying that, that she liked what he did to her, that he was going to do it to someone else. Right, he, he, he attacked you first. That's what you tell him. You're just defending yourself. Well, what if he wakes up? What if he doesn't? 